Hi everybody, this is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel and I thank you so much for coming by. I am sending you love today, tomorrow, and continuously. Um, I don't know how to go about doing this video today. Um, so much has been taking place in my life, it seems, for the past two weeks. Um, it could be a little bit longer, but it just feels like everything has been taking place so frequently recently and um, I am truly truly grateful and blessed for all of the progress that I have made um, and everything that I have been given as a result of my growth in this process to spiritually growing into your truth and finding your purpose there is a process of you completing something which means that you have to transform your mind and your heart you have to release um, pain from your physical form in general which is done as a result of healing and then if you are giving and when you are given a little piece of your puzzle to who you are because as a light worker, a star seed, um, whatever it is that you resonate with, we're calling yourself a prophet, a modern day prophet. Um, you come from somewhere. We have been incarnated from somewhere. Um, and this, if you are the type of person who has just stared up at the stars all of your life, you have felt disconnected from humanity, um, you felt alienated in your own family and from society as a general that is a pure indication that you are not born of earth you have been incarnated here and you, this is probably not your first appearance um, I know of at least three other times that I have been here um, just by having a glimpse of those things and that's what I'm talking about. Every time we move forward in trying to seek understanding by healing and then implementing faith and love into who we are, we'll receive a little bit about who we are. And it's um, a type of accessing the book of knowledge that is mentioned in the Bible. Um, the tree of life in book, the book of knowledge. Um, but also, at a larger scale, it's called the uh, Akashic Records. Um, I resonate with the Book of Life because of the Bible teachings. And it makes sense today because of me just now discovering my actual origins. Um, at least I'm assuming so. Um, I don't know for sure, which is the reason why I'm not actually going to speak about it yet. But um, um, I heard a phrase um, this morning and uh, or last night. I really didn't have a good sleep. I was having a conversation pretty much <laughs> all night long. Um, and uh, so... Um, I was enjoying what I was hearing and feeling last night. I was growing again last night and uh, I was given a little bit of insight or contacted anyway and I totally forgot the entire phrase because of my husband waking me or you know waking up and uh, making me laugh so boop, there it went so I'm a little upset with myself for not actually getting up last night to actually write this down. I, I kept replaying it over and over in my head last night to make sure that I wouldn't forget, you know, and uh, I did anyway. I, I have just one phrase, one word that is linking me to where I am from. And um, so anyway, um, throughout my journey, I have seen tons of signs and symbols and numbers um,
as well as receiving light language words um, that I don't understand. I know that all of this plays a huge part in who I am and where I come from. Um, I didn't have complete understanding, but my heart and my mind knew I am receiving it for a reason. And we will receive a code, a symbol, a number, um, a word, um, whether or not we understand any of it um, at a time when we are ready to grow similar or transform or graduate from that level of where we were recently. That's what I think I'm going to start calling it. You graduate from a level. Um, and then you receive a little bit of information. I received a symbol um, last week or so. And like I said, I was receiving so many things for the past two weeks, it seems. And um, I didn't know what it was and where it came from. And I still don't know what the meaning is. But um, I've discovered where it comes from. Um, it's doing something inside of me. And every time that we can, can implement what we are given, whether in a code, a sign, a symbol, um, words, um, and then find an understanding as to what it is, it's like integrating it into actually who you are. And then that's where the transformation comes. That's where you, you actually graduate even more to more parts of who you are, the depths of who you are. Um, you bring in more of your true spirit, if that helps. Um, and so that's what I think is taking place within myself. I woke up um, really stiff today. Um, well, I went to bed feeling tons of leg discomfort, which again, it reminds me of back when I was um, immobile and um, limited and my legs were always hurting all the time and I could barely walk. So I know I was still receiving tons of light back then, but the understanding wasn't there. When we are in our human self, our human form, thinking in terms of the 3D reality, we take in whatever it is that's coming to us from light, from our soul family. Um, from God as a physical symptom and that's what I, I try to stress over and over again awareness understanding thinking differently can give you a different perspective on what you are experiencing and that will result in healing and integrating what the energy is trying to do uh, we are always, whether you are a human, born human, or you are incarnated into a human form, always receiving. We are always supposed to be growing, integrating, and becoming our true selves. And living a life full of purpose and love at its finest truth. But if you don't understand that energy is coming into you to give you life, you know, the light of Jesus Christ is trying to come into you. The teachings of Christ is trying to physically come into you and transform you. You know, we don't have to read the Bible to know and, and be connected to Christ. It helps. But he is trying to physically come into us to give us life. Come into our hearts, come into our minds, and change our physical form. Um, so when you understand again understanding what's taking place within you you can graduate to a different level it's when we're left in that dark the darkness that we become depleted we have pain anger, lacking, and we live in that lower level of consciousness. 
Um, so I'm asking you to pay attention to your physical self. How are you feeling all the time? Pay attention to your emotions. How are you feeling all the time? Um, pay attention to your thoughts. What are you always thinking about? Journal all of this. Um, journal your dreams. If you can remember them, journal them. And um, because your dreams are speaking to you. Whether or not you understand what they actually mean, they are speaking to you, whether about your trauma or being contacted. Um, in our dream state, we can be contacted with signs and symbols, with messages within them, with telling us that we are anxious, uh, we are moving away from our path. It's all in our dreams. Um, Everything should be jotted down from a round table to where the dream is taking place, whether um, up in the attic, down in the basement, in a hotel, on a train, whatever it is, jot it down. Write down the colors. Um, write down how many people are there, or if you see numbers or the time on a clock. Everything is important. And... You should try to discover things on your own. Um, in the very beginning, nothing is going to make sense. Um, but the more that you are persistent in trying to understand something, you're knocking. You're asking. And you're, you will open a door. That's your door. By not settling for what you have and being persistent in having more. Um, so I just wanted to share a little bit about my journey again and help you on your own. Um, it's really exciting, a really exciting time for me. I am going through, I don't know what type of stage this is or where it is but it's for myself in my own knowledge it is the highest that I well of course that I've ever been but in my eyes it's the most significant because um, I feel in my heart it's um, like graduating really from from high school or for or college with high honors. This is where now, once you reach this level, of course you can go further and beyond. But until you reach this level, you can't. So um, that's why it's so important for me, it, to me. Um, I feel really, really grateful and special. And I haven't hit it all the way. I'm, I'm just right here. I'm getting here. And um, everything's being integrated and happening and um, I know it's only going to get better because I am persistent in this journey of mine, my purpose and bringing a message to all um, about love, love and um, helping you all see that when you do not cater to your spirit your life will reflect it. Our spirit is the one, is the self that is trying to exist. And when we are suppressing our truest self in spirit form, um, we have a life that reflects that suppression. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.